local guest, which I had the other day, which is Caroline Legister and also and her husband, Mr. Layton Legister, where they organized a raffle. And this raffle was to um, get some tablets, tablets for um, Richmond Gap Primary School. And as a result of that, it was successful. So I'm going to bring them on shortly for them to sort of explain and tell us how it actually happened and how did it go. So without further ado, Anil, I'm going to bring in um, my two guests here. Um, here we are. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Good evening, Stephen. Anil, Anil, you may not have known, but um, we had this raffle the other night, and um, it was awesome because um, Leighton and Caroline have this company called Lee Color. Did I get it right? Yeah. <laughs> Lee Keller. And uh, there, and um, Caroline is from uh, St. Thomas, and there's a school down there, Richmond Gap Primary School, which needs some help. So as a result of that, they went ahead and they did this raffle, and they asked me to use my platform, and I did jolly well, and it was successful. But I let them tell you after the show and what happened. So tell us, how did it go now? OK, good evening, everyone. Hi, O'Neill. Hi, how are you doing? We're fine, thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you very much, Sylvain, for having us again. And also, we just want to say a huge thank you to all the customers who have purchased your tickets and to all the donors as well for the donations that they have made. Um, we've sold, sorry, I just want to say congratulations to Michelle Smith, who won the raffle. We've sold 103 tickets. And we received fifty pounds twenty six pence in donations. So altogether, we've raised five hundred and sixty five pounds twenty six pence. So we should be able to purchase at least ten tablets. We wanted sorry, at least eleven tablets so far for the children of Richmond Gap Primary School in Saint Thomas. Thank you. Okay. So so. And, and and so what's the next step now? What's the next step now? The next step is to try and get um, the tablet actually at a more reasonable price right now. So we're going to be forcing that. But we know what to do. We're out in the store stores. We're actually low because of the lockdown. But, but we just look online as well to see how to negotiate a better deal for the tablet. I think that's what's next for now. Yeah. yeah. Because what, because what I understood was that um, there were 19, about 18 or 19 tablets, which mm -hmm. are outstanding, if anything like that, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And according to this, the, the principle, and, uh, and with, with what you have now, we, we believe that a, a good deal, because O'Neill, one of the things, O'Neill, with regarding tablets and all those things is that we cannot, and we don't want them to be at the same prices, isn't it, O'Neill? Correct. You want to try to get, you know, as best of a deal you can. Um, and the question, are you buying them in the UK or are you buying them in Jamaica? We're looking to purchase them in, within the United Kingdom. Okay, and then ship them to Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah you always try to get maximized. And, and what I've found also is, you know, as you're buying, I don't know if it's the same in the UK, but in the US, when you're buying from big box store, you know, such as Best Buy and so forth, if you tell them the cause, a lot of time they'll give you a deep discount uh, on those tablets. So I'm not sure what is the equivalent to Best Buy in the UK that you could approach and then have a discussion with them around what you're doing. And sometimes they'll give you a good discount. Okay. Yes. Um I think the equivalent to Best Buy in the U in the UK here would be PC World, or is PC World? Okay. Yes. But we are at um we are at um a disadvantage at the moment because of the lockdown which we are in at the moment. We oh yeah. Have, yeah, we're not able to go inside and speak to someone. Ah, I see. Yeah. Um, so that's a that's a new situation, right? Given what's going on, not only in the UK but also in the US, um, we, we're probably going to have to find some creative way of trying to help. Um, in this case, Silver, in terms of negotiating a, a good and 
get some good discounts. Yeah, yeah, and, and and I think yeah, and I think that is where we're at now because, you know, I remember there's a there's a there's a consulate or in the states which is trying to work out tablets at hundred dollars or so, and I believe if we can try to collectively um, reach out with some other companies. We can see what we can do but the most important thing is that it was successful the raffle was a success and the next phase now is to see how we can do it so ladies and gentlemen the raffle was a success it was sold 103 raffle tickets 50 point 50 pounds 26 in donation total raise 565 and do you have the 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 raffle bouquet we can have yeah, yeah we right here right here okay nice. awesome okay Fantastic, fantastic. And and while we're here, just tell us briefly about Lake Color so people can actually tap into the business while we are in lockdown. People, I don't know if people are going to want to clean up them skin or everything at this now because they're just upset. But maybe they want to nice them. Tell us about Lake, Lake, Lake Color while we're at it. <laughs> okay. Um, Lake Color is a small family-run business where we produce, we manufacture um, natural skincare products for the hair, um, the face, and the entire body. So we look after the whole you know the whole use so people can um they can purchase um products at mm -hmm. www.leecala.co.uk and they can you know check us out on our instagram page at, at leecala we're also on facebook at leecala natural skincare products within the uk our products are stocked in all the pen pansy stores and our products are also in an um royal maroon herbs in peckham rye we're in m m um supermarket in Thornton East and we're also in um project shared herbal mix in Thornton East as well okay fantastic fantastic well listen guys um fantastic work you get you guys do and um we wish you all the success with this and ladies and gentlemen what that means is that whenever you actually tap into any stuff like this you come on to the silver show and the only thing you'll get is success am i correct <laughs> You know, the, the, the difference between this basket and the one advertised is because it's personalized. She wanted yeah. a um, gold bowl and she wanted a mango butter or a award winning mango butter. So she's got that in her basket as well. So she'd be so happy that for her lovely basket, lovely Christmas present, will be delivering sometime this week about Monday. She'll be getting it. Okay. Yeah. Right. okay all right fantastic thank you very much and um guys and well done for that and we glad that thank the children you. in richmond richmond Gap primary school um hopefully very soon that they will have these tablets that they can actually learn education is key all right okay. awesome congrats thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. okay ladies and gentlemen so that was uh, Caroline and uh, Leighton Legister, they're both teachers here in the UK, passionate Jamaicans as well. Uh, we're waiting for uh, Miss uh, Doreen uh, buck -Ellen. Um I think I saw her trying to come in earlier, but um, not, not here as yet. But in the meantime, Oni, let's talk about the diaspora a bit until um, Doreen comes in. I think she may be having some technical challenge. What, what Lee Color just did is the power of the diaspora, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, I was just thinking, um, 